You know, I stay seeing people try to equate sexuality to spirituality in this like new age spiritual movement that we in in the 21st century. And it's like, I, I stay seeing uh, people post images on Instagram and on Facebook showing like two silhouettes of two people joined at the hip with the cosmos running through their body or something like that, talking about spiritual connections and all that kind of stuff. Bruh, I'm going to just say this. And I'm going to be blunt as I don't know what. Bruh, sexuality ain't got nothing to do with no spirituality. Your ability to get jiggy with it with somebody else is not helping you build spiritual character in the slightest. Animals and people and things and bugs been mating since the dawn of time. And it is not making them into better bugs or better animals or better people. You just releasing some pressure that you feeling. You know what I'm saying? A little tingle, tingly itch. No, I said, ain't got nothing to do with no spirituality. And it makes me crack up every time I see people talk about this stuff because it's mostly this westernized new age ism that we, we see. Because, like, you know, when you go to the east, like Eastern religions where new age theology claims to get their beliefs from, you'll see that the Hindus and the Taoists and the Buddhist monks and the Zen people, you know what I'm saying? They be teaching sexual discipline. They be saying, master your urges, be on monk mode and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And you got these people over here just fornicating and you know what i'm saying just getting a freak on and then calling it a spiritual connection they ain't like i said ain't nothing spiritual about that that is a completely carnal physical act okay you on instagram with your dang dreads out showing you know what i'm saying yourself standing in a river with your abs out and junk looking at the sky you know what I'm saying? While all the uh, thirsty Instagram divas comment underneath your post saying, oh, yes, king, and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're talking about how much of a, a, a handsome Rasta you are and all that kind of stuff. And the next, you know, you slide in her DMs backwards. You know what I'm saying? Trying to arrange to chakra and chill to some binaural beats. The next thing you know, y'all breaking up like a month later because, you know what I'm saying, you found out that uh, she was too superficial for your taste or some crap like that. It's like, bro, no, nah, you just saw a very attractive woman on your post, on your little thirst trap that you posted, and you hooked up with her, and you caught, you slapped the label of spirituality onto it, and then when it didn't go your favor... You just said, oh, the universe brought us together for some time. But, you know, it, it wasn't, she was only meant to be in my life for a, a small season. Bro, that wasn't even a season. That was a week. And you nasty. And you need to go get yourself checked out for STDs because, like I said, bro, you just fall and pray to your animalistic urges. That's all that is.